Welcome again to this ASP.NET Core tutorial. In the current situation, if a user will try to sign up in this bookstore web application, then after the successful sign up, he choose to login in this application, then the login will be successful without even the email confirmation. Now I want to implement more security in this application and I want to allow only those users who have confirmed their email during the sign up process. Let's run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. Let's click on the login button. Now before entering the data, let's open the database. Let's run this query again. So here we have all the updated records and if we have a look on this fourth record user at the test.com you can notice that the email is not confirmed here you can notice that we have the false value this is zero it means false now let's try to login by using this email and the password so here i can enter user at the test.com the password is one two three four five six here is the password click on the login button then you can see that login is working fine now let's log out from this application now i want to implement a security in this application that only those users who have confirmed their email id can login in this application okay so let's open the visual studio again we can update the setting by using the identity options let's open the startup class in the startup class you can notice that we are defining few options for the identity over here by using this service.configure identity options method here you will see that under this method we can choose options dot sign in dot here we have three properties first is require confirmed account second is require confirmed email third is require confirmed phone number we can update these settings as per the need of our application what is the first one this property is used to verify your account while you will use the social media account for the login process it means login with google login with facebook etc then require confirmed email if you will set this property to true then only the confirmed email will be able to login in this application third is require confirmed phone number same with the phone number if user has a confirmed phone number then only he will be able to login in this application since we are dealing with the email only so we can use this property and we can set its value to true okay save the changes this time let's run this application in debug mode again click on the login button and let's put a breakpoint in the account controller let's switch to login method and here we have this method let's put a breakpoint over here again go back to the browser enter the details one two three four five six click on the login button okay let's see what we got in this result variable here we have not allowed is logged out this is false is not allowed true this time the email and the password both are correct but still the user is not allowed to login in this application let's click on the continue button and here we are having this message invalid credentials we can update this message by using the flags not allowed to login and in the else block we can use this code again let's try to run this application by pressing ctrl f5 click on the login button again enter the same details click on the login button this time you can notice that we have this error message that you are not allowed to login in this application okay now what is the process to login in this application let's open the database again and this time let's set its property to true we are using this record user at the test.com and over here instead of using this false value this time i will be using true let's again try to login in this application let's enter one two three four five six login button and here you can notice that user is able to login in this application what is the conclusion of this discussion it means we need to implement two things in our application first one is we need to set a flag where only the email confirmed account will be allowed to login in this application second is we need to update the column email confirmation to true now the only question is that how can we update the column for all the users we cannot do it manually by ourselves like the user will sign up in this application then we will update the column in the database manually and then only he will be able to log in no we cannot do that we need to implement a strategy where we will send an email on the user's email id then he will click on that email id 
and then we will implement some logic based on that link then if that link is valid then only we will update the value in the column and all these steps will be done by the user if he has entered an correct email id then only he will receive the confirmation link in his email id if the user is trying to enter someone else email id or the wrong email id then he will not have access to that email account and eventually he will not get the link for the email confirmation in the next video of this tutorial we will send the email on the user's id with a link and if the user will click on that link then only his email id will be confirmed and he will be able to log in in this application that is all in this video make sure to hit the like button you can discuss your questions or query in the comment section you can also share your feedbacks in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day